Basic English, Wikipedia article audio. Basic English is an English based controlled language created by linguist and philosopher Charles K. Ogden as an international auxiliary language, and as an aid for teaching English as a second language. Basic English is, in essence, a simplified subset of regular English. It was presented in Ogden's book Basic English. A General Introduction with Rules and Grammar Ogden's Basic, and the concept of a simplified English, gained its greatest publicity just after the Allied victory in World War II as a means for world peace. Although Basic English was not built into a program, similar simplifications have been devised for various international uses. Ogden's associate I.A. Richards promoted its use in schools in China. More recently, it has influenced the creation of Voice of America's Special English for News Broadcasting, and Simplified Technical English, another English-based controlled language designed to write technical manuals. Design Principles Word Lists what survives today of Ogden's Basic English is the Basic 850 word list used as the beginner's vocabulary of the English language taught worldwide, especially in Asia. Ogden tried to simplify English while keeping it normal for native speakers, by specifying grammar restrictions and a controlled small vocabulary which makes an extensive use of paraphrasing. Most notably, Ogden allowed only 18 verbs, which he called operators. His general introduction says there are no verbs in basic English, with the underlying assumption that, as noun use in English is very straightforward but verb use slash conjugation is not, the elimination of verbs would be a welcome simplification. What the world needs most is about 1,000 more dead languages and one more alive. Ogden's word lists include only word roots, which in practice are extended with the defined set of affixes and the full set of forms allowed for any available word. The 850 core words of Basic English are found in Wiktionary's Basic English word list. This core is theoretically enough for everyday life. However, Ogden prescribed that any student should learn an additional 150 word list for everyday work in some particular field, by adding a list of 100 words particularly useful in a general field, along with a 50 word list from a more specialized subset of that general field, to make a basic 1000 word vocabulary for everyday work and life. Moreover, Ogden assumed that any student already should be familiar with a core subset of around 200 international words. Therefore, a first-level student should graduate with a core vocabulary of around 1,200 words. A realistic general core vocabulary could contain 2,000 words. It is enough for a standard English level. This 2,000-word vocabulary represents what any learner should know. At this level students could start to move on their own. Rules Ogden's Basic English 2,000-word list and Voice of America's Special English 1,500-word list serve as dictionaries for the simple English Wikipedia. The word use of Basic English is similar to Full English but the rules are much simpler, and there are fewer exceptions. Not all meanings of each word are allowed. Criticism Ogden's rules of grammar for basic English help people use the 850 words to talk about things and events in a normal way. Like all international auxiliary languages, Basic English may be criticized as inevitably based on personal preferences, and thus, paradoxically, inherently divisive. Moreover, like all natural language-based eels, basic is subject to criticism as unfairly biased towards the native speaker community. 
As a teaching aid for English as a second language, basic English has been criticized for the choice of the core vocabulary and for its grammatical constraints. Literary References In 1944, readability expert Rudolf Flesch published an article in Harper's Magazine, How Basic is Basic English? in which he claimed, it's not basic, and it's not English. The essence of his complaint is that the vocabulary is too restricted, and, as a result, the text ends up being awkward and more difficult than necessary. He also argues that the words in the basic vocabulary were arbitrarily selected, and notes that there had been no empirical studies showing that it made language simpler. In the novel The Shape of Things to Come, published in 1933, H.G. Wells depicted basic English as the lingua franca of a new elite that after a prolonged struggle succeeds in uniting the world and establishing a totalitarian world government. In the future world of Wells' vision, virtually all members of humanity know this language. From 1942 to 1944 George Orwell was a proponent of basic English, but in 1945 he became critical of universal languages. Basic English later inspired his use of Newspeak in 1984. Evelyn Waugh criticized his own 1945 novel Bride Shed Revisited, which he had previously called his magnum opus. In the preface of the 1959 reprint, it was a bleak period of present privation and threatening disaster the period of soya beans and basic English and in consequence the book is infused with a kind of gluttony, for food and wine, for the splendors of the recent past, and for rhetorical and ornamental language that now, with a full stomach, I find distasteful. In his story Gulf Science fiction writer Robert A. Heinlein used a constructed language called speed talk, in which every basic English word is replaced with a single phoneme, as an appropriate means of communication for a race of genius supermen. Form plurals by appending an S on the end of the word. Where special rules are normally necessary, such as using ES or IES, use them. There are two word endings to change each of the 150 adjectives, er and est. Dot. There are two word endings to change the verb word endings, ing and ed. Dot. Form adverbs from qualifiers by adding li. Dot. Talk about amounts with more and most. Use and no er and est. Dot. Give adjectives a negative meaning with un. Form questions with the opposite word order, and with do dot, operators and pronouns inflect as in normal English, make combined words from two nouns or a noun and a directive, measures, numbers, money, days, months, years, clock time, and international words are in English forms, e.g. date slash time. May 20, 1972 at 21.00 where necessary, technical expressions or other terms required for the task at hand may be used and take on their local form.